The World Baseball Classic officially announces its four locations for next year's tournament. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm still not sold on the WBC. Hey everybody, it's Josh and I you know it all coming to you today to talk a little bit about the WBC, kind of my thoughts, both good and bad. Let's dive into that. Before we do, guys, take a moment, subscribe to the channel. It does help me out because the more subscribers I have, the more my content gets pushed out to other baseball fans, helping us grow the 90 Know It All empire. But also, guys, let you know when new videos come out, you get a notice on that. So uh, it's a win win for both of us. But, guys, let's jump into this. The World Baseball Classic has already announced their four locations for their next World Baseball Classic. Uh, they're using Taiwan, they're using the Tokyo Dome in Japan, they're also doing, I believe it's uh, Chase Field in, in Phoenix, Arizona, and they're using the Marlins Park in Florida. So, um, you know, two Asia, two American-based uh, locations, not bad. I mean, decent places to go. I love watching the games in Asia, uh, Japan, Korea, that area, because the fans are just, they're crazy. They're crazy nuts. One of my baseball bucket list things is to go over and watch a game sometime in my life over in Asia just to be a part of that atmosphere. I also want to go to Central America and catch a game as well. But, you know, the World Baseball Classic has a lot of positives. You know, individuals being able to play for their home country, uh, being able to represent, being able to wear uh, their nation's flag on their jersey. That's Those are all amazing things. I love when you bring the best players together to represent uh, the game and and everything about it so i'm all for that the things i'm not all for is really the timing uh you're talking about games being played really in the middle of spring training so you're not going to get pitchers being able to really throw complete games there's no way i mean let's say for team usa you have kershaw or scherzer or strasburg pitching even if they're throwing a no hitter you're not going to get those guys really past five innings, six innings, because the World Baseball Classic isn't their priority, isn't their focus. It's winning a World Series. And being so early in the season, their teams, their home teams, aren't going to let them just throw 110 pitches in March. It's not going to happen. No matter how well prepared the guys are or how well they're throwing, they're just not going to happen. So I don't like that part of it. I also don't like the part of it where you have some of the best players being pulled away from spring training. Uh, 2013, the first WBC, I was actually at spring training. And so a lot of the main players weren't even there. They were off playing in the tournament. And it was it was fun, but you also felt like you were lacking something at spring training. Now, spring training was still awesome. Spring training is always awesome. I love going down there. you know. But when you miss the top players, when they're off maybe playing in, in California, I think at that point, some of the games were being played in LA in that area. And so they weren't in Phoenix where I was attending spring training. It was kind of a bummer, a little bit of a downer. There were positives still. I mean, Team Australia was there, got to see them play and a few other teams like that. So that was cool, got to see things like that. But it was just, it just kind of pulled away from spring training. And once again, you don't have all the main players with their regular team. So it kind of, Hurt spring training. The guys really aren't in full season mode. Uh, hitters at that point, they're probably ready to go. I mean, so guys who hit, they're going to be at their, their top game. Maybe not their A++ game, but they're still going to have their best. So I, I don't like the fact that you really can't get the pitchers going full bore. So I, I don't know what the answer to that is. I know someone said that like during the Olympics or that time they should be two weeks off where the best players go play mid-season and I get that but that'd be so tough that would be really hard uh, I know that other sports have done that I think hockey does that they will actually stop their season for two weeks for the winter olympics um, because pretty much half their league is playing in the olympics and that makes sense and baseball could do that I don't think that's feasible I think because of the format of baseball the timing you just really can't do that but in the end, the World Baseball Classic is a fun thing to watch. I got to watch, you know, teams and players that I didn't really know of or wasn't aware of previously. Uh, Team Israel, 
I, I love Team Israel. That is a team that I have so much fun. And they have a lot of importance to not any know-it-all. Uh, some of my very first interviews were with Team Israel, uh, like in 2014. Uh, some of the members of their team who were playing stateside, I actually got a chance to uh, have them call in and do kind of the online radio show that we were doing at the time and got to talk to them. Uh, one was Alone Leishman. Uh, I remember talking to him, and there were other players we did interviews with either through email or had them calling in, and it was a ton of fun. It was so much fun to talk to those guys, to hear the excitement they had about being able to represent their country, and so it was cool. And I, and I don't want to bash the WBC because, like I said, they do have some awesome attributes to this tournament. You know, being able to see teams uh, playing with guys who aren't necessarily major league, you know, big names but still have talent and to see them playing in, you know, in Japan or in Korea and, and seeing the excitement in the stadiums, man, that is even just watching on TV. It's a, it's electrifying as a fan. It, it's just exciting. So I, I'm not against the WBC by any means. I just wish there was a different way that we could have the best players be able to play at their best, you know, the whole tournament. I, I don't, I don't know what the answer to that is. I don't think it's big enough to, stop baseball for two weeks in the middle of summer i don't that's not the answer i don't know about that but there's got to be something you know there's something out there that lets this tournament become more of a focus more of an important time uh in the year but whatever it's cool i, I love the fact that they already have the location set in fact i believe it's the uh, yeah the marlins are hosting games in all three rounds they're the first location to do to do that to have you know, each round being hosted there, including the championship. That's a cool place. I mean, Florida, not a bad place to have a championship. Uh, you know, at some point, I'd like to go down and watch a WBC game. WBC game, And I said in the past, I've been able to see, uh, like, Team Italy. Uh, a number of years ago when I was down spring training, they were playing at some of the major league clubs. Uh, team Australia, got to see them. That was actually fun. I got to talk to a number of the guys on that team as well. They were very cool guys, uh, just loving the game of baseball. So... It is what it is. You know, it is a fun tournament. The last tournament was a lot of fun. Uh, the excitement from the different countries. There's a lot of great plays. Uh, that's where you had the Javier Baez uh, no-look tag where he's already celebrating and pointing at Molina behind the plate. Things like that are awesome. I love that stuff. So it is fun. I do enjoy it. There are some negatives, are some drawbacks. But overall, I'd give the WBC a B. You know, if I was giving it a grade, I'd give it a B. It's not perfect. can be improved, but it's good enough. Good enough. It's baseball. It's fun. So, guys, those are my thoughts on the WBC. Once again, they got four locations for the next one happening next March, right in the middle of spring training. And uh, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Not as much as the I used to be, but, yeah, still looking forward to it, looking to have some fun. So, guys, I'm Josh, the 90 Know-It-All. Thanks for tuning in, and catch me on the next video. See you later.